Today I want to give brief instructions regarding the task called Showing Appreciation. And here I want to go over some of the instructions and give you some insights, give you some ideas about how to best complete the task. I'd like for you to begin thinking about a person special in your life, someone that you have a very close relationship to. And think first in terms of perhaps you've taken this person for granted. Maybe uh, this person has over uh, time been very helpful to you, have, has, maybe this person's been very supportive, and for whatever reason, maybe you've taken this person for granted. Maybe at the time you didn't realize the importance of this person in your life. Perhaps you have failed in the past to reach out and maybe share or show gratitude enough uh, to show your appreciation over time. So try to choose someone, number one, very close to you, but number two, also maybe that you have taken the person for granted. So once you have considered someone that you want to show appreciation to and someone that's close to you and that perhaps you have taken for granted in the past, go into the shared Excel spreadsheet, add your name, and add the person uh, to whom you will show appreciation. You also might include the relationship to the, to you. Maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend. You can also include that information in the Excel spreadsheet. Also in the Excel spreadsheet, create a list of keywords or phrases that mentions situations when you have taken this person for granted. Some questions that you might consider. Think about the situation. How did maybe an event happened something that happened you can describe what led up to that event why did it happen think of when did it happen any of the question words revolving your relationship with this person maybe it was certain events or things that happened in the past that involved you and this other person think of the question words when you're thinking about building a story that you want to share in your video where you have perhaps taken the person for granted. Also in the Excel spreadsheet, create a second list of keywords or phrases that relate to ways that you would like to share or show appreciation to this special person. Again, consider the question words. What, how, when, where. Think of the question words when you're coming up with some ideas about what you can say as it relates to now showing your appreciation. So there are two pieces. The first is reflecting on maybe taking for granted this person and then the second how you can express yourself to show appreciation. Next try to prepare a visual that best represents your appreciation for this special person. Finally, now discuss with your instructor once you have prepared your ideas, you have your image, discuss with your instructor the story that you plan to tell and describe the relationship with this person, what you're planning on describing in terms of taking the person for granted and also how you wish to show appreciation. Then once you're prepared, and I would include some kind of either outline, maybe you include some kind of a visual representation, a mind map, a spider map, some kind of graphic organizer that helps you list out your ideas in some organized fashion and might serve as a guide in the moment that you're actually presenting or delivering your video. It's not necessary for the purposes of this video to show your outline, but it's always good practice to have something written down as a guide so that you're prepared. You know what you're going to say. You don't know exactly the words you're going to use, but you know the key points that you want to include in, in your talk. The next step is to record a video and post it to Flip. I've included the link here. Include in the video the following. Share your story of how you took advantage of this person in the past, or perhaps you took the person for granted. Try to use the keywords or phrases that you listed in the Excel spreadsheet. Number two, show appreciation to this person, again, using the keywords or phrases from the Excel spreadsheet. Number three, show the image that best represents your appreciation towards the special person. Now, this image, you can present it anywhere throughout the video. It can be something you present at the, at the beginning, 
Perhaps it's something that you are showing periodically throughout the video. If you want to perhaps use the video as a backdrop or alongside your video while showing you in the frame along with the video at the same time, that's also an option. You could also leave it towards the end of the video if you think it would have a bigger impact showing the image at the end. You certainly can do that as well. Number four, the video should demonstrate you speaking in English between eight to ten minutes. Your talk should be heartfelt. Well, we're going to talk today in class about how to express ourselves with emotion, with feeling. But realize that even though you're speaking an additional language, the words have meaning. And the way that you say it oftentimes has a bigger impact than the actual words that you're using. So pay very close attention to pace, pause, the pauses that you're using, even eye contact, maintaining eye contact directly to the, the camera as you are speaking to this person using uh, through the use of video. It's very important that you're maintaining eye contact throughout your talk, making sure that you're looking directly at the camera. Of course, you want to pay close attention to any background noise. Try to find a quiet place so that you can speak very closely to the microphone. Oftentimes, the microphone and your cell phones are going to be your best option. I found that sometimes uh, the microphone with the, uh, the ear pods uh, are a little bit suspect. Sometimes you're not, uh, it's, it's hard to hear. So I would actually do a couple of audio and video tests to test out your equipment and your sound quality before you actually begin to, um, recording the video. But you do want to deliver your video in a heartfelt way, in an emotional way, paying very close attention to pacing, pauses, volume, even intonation, the highs and lows that you're using in your voice, eye contact. Okay, All of this relates to speaking in an emotional way, in a meaningful way, as you want to deliver this video to this special person, regardless if this person understands English or not. We're going to deliver our video in English and share it with this person and share this, our thoughts with this person through the use of video. Okay, so these are going to be our steps. The final step will be to share the link to the flip video to our virtual classroom, to our learning management system. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about this today in class, but I wanted to share this brief video describing the instructions for this task, and uh, we'll have time today to begin working on this performance task.